Hey, Master Geo here, and I'm going to talk to you about something I just picked up uh, a couple of hours ago. It's a Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle Donatello action figure. So, before I proceed, let's talk a little TMNT. I have not seen the new Michael Bay produced film, and from all intents and purposes, I have really no desire to see it. Uh, the reviews, at least on the geek-centered um, channels, uh, blogs, whatever, um, have been uh, less than stellar. Most saying that it's pretty mediocre or worse. Um, everything I hear sounds like complete blasphemy, and it just seems like Bay has once again raped my childhood and yours. So, um, I ain't paying to see that shit. I'm tired of giving... Actually, I long stopped doing this, but, you know, I'm tired of fucking Michael Bay making money off of his horrid interpretations of classic franchises. Uh, you know, I know the Turtle has have been reinterpreted many, 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 many times, from the comics, to the 80s cartoon, to the, uh, latter-day, uh, interpretation, cartoon interpretation, to the modern Nickelodeon interpretation, which is my personal favorite take on them. Um, you know, there have been the live-action movies, animated movies, but, you know, um, it seems that while all those took different elements of the turtle, uh, different, different interpretations of the turtles, um, this one just seems like, for all intents and purposes, to be a stinking turd, so fuck that movie. And fuck you, Michael Bay. All right, moving along. Um, I am um, right now. I only own two of the uh, turtle figures, which are based on the aforementioned Nickelodeon show, which I think is phenomenal. I really, truly believe that it's the uh, best reiteration of the turtles outside of the comic books. Um, it's so well written that it's. Uh, one of those shows that I've become somewhat obsessed and addicted to. So, um, the only other figure I own is Raphael, and Raphael is my favorite character. Donatello, which I bought today, is actually my least favorite turtle. He's, of course, the uh, science and tech expert, and he makes any, most of the turtles weaponry and technology that they use. Um, he's my least favorite turtle. Like, I, I don't know. I guess he's kind of boring. But... I don't hate the guy, just my least favorite turtle. But anyway, um, I uh, found a little store in uh, my neighborhood that uh, was selling him outside of the box uh, for five bucks. Um, it uh, doesn't come with all the accessories, so no throwing stars, no shit like that. But you get the figure, and uh, I'm going to review it. Um, first off, the detail on these figures are is, is fucking amazing. Um, the muscles on him, the um, shell, the face, he's got a really serious face. Like, I don't think he's a happy man, or a turtle, I should say. Um, of course, he comes with a signature weapon. Thank God they kept that, because I don't even think it would have been five bucks worth it if it didn't. Uh, his bow staff. Um, he's um, got a lot of posability, as you can see. Um, mine's a little stiff, but, um, you know, he's got elbows and his wrists, uh, turn, uh, knees, legs swivel, head moves, um, and, uh, yeah, you can put him in some pretty cool poses. Uh, certainly for those of you who don't haven't bought recent Ninja Turtle toys and you only remember the stuff from the 80s, these are, uh, the detail on these are much better and, uh, the posability is much better because, like most toys in the 80s, those guys really didn't have a lot of posability. But, um, made by Playmates, of course, this is a great looking figure. Um, I, I really like it. Um, as with, um, the way Donnie is, he's... A little sh lighter shade than green in some of his uh, other brothers. Um, there's a back where you can uh, you can store his staff. 
I mean, a guy doesn't want to walk around on his staff all the time, right? And then when it's time to in action, he pulls it out. Right into his arms. Really cool pose. Now he's ready to beat the shit out of some Foot Clan, Shredder, the Krang, whatever. Whatever fucking evil mutants come in. Donnie's ready to bash him over their head with his bow staff. Um, like I said, I know these come with more accessories, and um, but you know, like I said, he was out of the box, and uh, he five bucks is a deal. Uh, these usually go for um, I would say around nine to I know, to twelve dollars, maybe a little bit more in some places. Um, but you could find them easily um, at any toy store. Um, you know, they're great for kids and they're excellent for collectors as well um i you know obviously buy them as a huge teenage mutant ninja turtle fan and i'm um really happy to make him part of my collection like i said the only other figure i have is my favorite guy raf which is an awesome awesome figure and um so now i have raf and and, uh, Don, and, um, now I feel that I need to get the other guys. So I gotta make, finish the collection, right? Um, so yeah, and, and uh, FYI, the season finale to, um, the current Nickelodeon show is next month. I'm really excited and pumped for it, and, um, I look forward to seeing what the hell happens on it. They've, uh, been building up some really cool storylines, which I'm not going to talk about, but, uh, you know, there's been some cool stuff with Karai, Shredder's daughter, um, they're actually, not really Shredder's daughter, but, um, hmm, oops, but, yeah, um, I definitely look forward to seeing where it's all going to go, the last episode, what happened to Karai was actually really kind of effed up, <laughs> So, um, you know, I'll be catching that, and, uh, hope you guys enjoyed this little, uh, review slash vlog slash whatever. Um, take care, uh, and until next time, rock on.